This is Glassboard Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. Number nine is an addition problem of these two fractions. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the least common denominator of three and four, which is 12. Now I'm going to find the corresponding numerators. Since three became 12 because I multiplied by four, for the denominator, I'm also going to multiply 4 on top. 4 times 2 equals to 8. Over here, I see that 4 became 12 because I multiplied the denominator by 3. So I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator. 3 times 3, that equals to 9. Since these two fractions have the same denominator, I can then add the numerators. 8 plus 9 equals to 17. Since the answer is an improper fraction, I can make it into a mixed number. 12 goes into 17 one time, with 5 as a remainder. So your answer is 1 and 5 twelfths. Number 15 is a subtraction problem. I have 1 and 5 sixths minus 3 fourths. Before I subtract these two fractions, I'm going to find the least common denominator of 6 and 4, which is 12. Since 6 became 12 by multiplying by 2, I'm going to do the same thing on top. 5 times 2 equals to 10. 4 became 12 because I multiplied by 3. So if I do the same thing to the numerator, 3 times 3, that equals to 9. The 1 right here is still the same, so I'm still going to write 1 right here. Now I can subtract the numerators from each other. 10 minus 9 equals to 1. Your answer is 1 and 1 12. Number 16 is another subtraction problem. Before I subtract these two fractions, I'm going to find the least common denominator of 3 and 11, which is 33. Since 11 became 33 by multiplying by 3, I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator. 4 times 3 equals to 12. 3 became 33 because I multiplied the denominator by 11. So 2 times 11 equals to 22. Now I can subtract. 22 minus 12 equals to 10. 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Your answer is 1 and 10 over 33. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.